Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're exploring the USS Zumwalt DDG-1000, a remarkable warship that redefined naval engineering through stealth, electric propulsion, and multi-mission capability. Named after Admiral Elmo Budd Zumwalt Jr., this ship was launched in 2013 and commissioned in 2016. It was designed to provide a new generation of surface combatants optimized for coastal operations, precision land strikes, and integrated power systems capable of supporting future technologies. The Zumwalt represents a bold departure from traditional destroyer design. It features a tumble-home hull that slopes inward above the waterline, which helps reduce radar visibility, and a composite superstructure that further minimizes its radar signature. At the heart of its innovation is the Integrated Power System, IPS, which generates large amounts of electrical power for both propulsion and onboard systems. This flexibility allows spare capacity to be directed toward future technologies such as lasers, railguns, or other energy-intensive systems as they become viable. Measuring approximately 610 feet in length with a beam of 80 feet and displacing nearly 16,000 metric tons, the Zumwalt is large and powerful despite its low radar profile. The ship was intended to change conventional naval trade-offs by lowering detectability automating systems to reduce crew requirements, and providing a platform capable of hosting advanced sensors and weapons that may emerge in the coming decades. Its design reflects both ambition and risk, as engineers and planners push the boundaries of what a modern destroyer could achieve. The Zumwalt was originally equipped with two 155 limiters. Advanced Gun Systems, AGS, designed to fire long-range land attack projectiles, LARLAP, for precision strikes on land targets. Additionally, it carries 80 Mankey 57 Vertical Launch System, VLS, cells, capable of deploying a variety of missiles for strike, air defense, and anti-submarine warfare. However, the high cost of the AGS ammunition led to its cancellation which removed the primary ammunition option for the ship's main guns. This change forced a re-evaluation of the ship's mission and shifted focus toward missile-based strike and surface warfare roles. Programmatically, the Zumwalt class began with ambitious plans for a larger fleet, but rising costs reduced production to just three ships. This smaller number increased per unit expenses because development costs were divided among fewer vessels drawing criticism that the program functioned more as a high-cost technology demonstrator than a practical production platform. Nevertheless, the Zumwalt has provided immense value as a testbed for automation, signature management, and integrated systems concepts, lessons that have influenced subsequent ship designs and fleet planning. Life on board reflects the ship's modern approach. Automation reduces routine manpower needs, while improved habitability supports long deployments. Sailors are trained to adapt to new human-machine interfaces and different maintenance routines, which differ from legacy ships. This approach provides insight into how future warships might balance automation with human oversight and operational efficiency. The unconventional tumble-home hull has raised concerns about sea-keeping and stability in extreme conditions, though extensive testing and careful design have addressed many issues. The ship's unusual shape remains a reminder that innovation often comes with trade-offs. Despite its challenges, the Zumwalt's integrated power system offers exceptional flexibility. By distributing electrical power efficiently across propulsion and combat systems, the ship can allocate resources to emerging technologies as they become practical. The Navy is exploring modifications to accommodate conventional prompt strike hypersonic missiles, adjusting internal weapon storage and launch arrangements to support this next generation capability. If successful, these upgrades could provide the fleet with a unique strategic advantage. Cost and sustainment remain significant considerations. 
Any highly innovative platform faces the dual pressures of technological risk and long-term supportability, and the ZoomWalt is no exception. Its bespoke systems and limited fleet numbers complicate logistics, lifecycle management and upgrades, making maintenance more expensive than standard destroyers. However, these challenges are offset by the ship's potential to adopt new missions and field cutting edge technologies that other platforms cannot easily support. The Zumwalt also reflects the Navy's emphasis on reduced crew size without compromising operational capability. By integrating advanced automation and centralized systems, routine tasks that previously required multiple sailors can now be performed by a smaller team. This allows the Navy to operate large and complex vessels more efficiently while providing a blueprint for future surface combatants. The ship's advanced sensors, electronic warfare suites, and VLS cells make it highly versatile, capable of engaging multiple threats simultaneously or executing complex strike missions. Operationally, the ZoomWalt has been repurposed multiple times. With the cancellation of AGS ammunition, its role shifted toward missile strikes and surface warfare, but ongoing modifications aim to expand its capabilities further. These adjustments demonstrate the adaptability of the platform and the Navy's willingness to evolve its use of cutting-edge technology. The lessons learned on ZoomWalt will continue to inform ship design, crew management, and system integration for decades. In simple terms, the USS Zumwalt is a high-risk, high-reward vessel that pushed technological boundaries and offered critical insights for naval engineering. It represents innovation in design, electrical power management, stealth, and multi-mission flexibility. While it has faced cost and logistical challenges, it remains a symbol of what the future of naval warfare could look like. Its ability to adapt to new weapons, sensors, and missions ensures that the Zumwalt class will continue to serve as a valuable asset and learning platform for the Navy. For audiences interested in naval engineering, defense technology, or modern surface combatants, the Zumwalt provides a fascinating example of ambition, strategic intent, and technological evolution. Its story demonstrates how advanced engineering, budget realities, and operational requirements intersect, and how a single platform can be adapted to meet changing priorities and emerging threats. Thank you for watching and listening on ZK Automotor, and if you'd like, we can dive deeper into weapon systems, crew life, or comparisons with other destroyers in upcoming videos.